hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we shall be looking at another question from group theory so here this question says we need to describe uh, in pictures or words the elements of the group d5 now what is d5 it is a dihedral group right the order here is 10 so it would have 2 into 5 elements within it 10 elements within it and this group represents the symmetries of a regular pentagon right this is it now what all uh, members would be there in this group and what do they represent let's have a look so here we know there are 10 elements within this uh, group d5 so first element corresponds to rotations uh, in total we have 10 elements 5 out of these 10 elements they are corresponding to rotations and 5 elements among these 10 elements they are corresponding to reflection correct now what are these rotations you know we have this pentagon so what we can do we can rotate it 5 times uh, in such a way that first time when we rotate it this A comes to the position of B right and B comes to the position of C C goes to the position of D D goes to the position of E and E goes to the position of A this is one uh, rotation right so we uh, represent this rotation by the letter small r and by what degree we, you know the total angle is 360 degree so we are uh, dividing this 360 into five parts because we are making five such rotations so 360 divided by 5 how much is that it is 72 degree so that means this rotation uh, r small r is uh, due by 72 degree correct so we have rotation by 72 degree which we are denoting by small r the order of this rotation is 5 because when you rotate it 5 times when you rotate it seven, uh, by 72 degrees anti-clockwise uh, 5 times so that means firstly you are moving this a to the position of b then again you are making a shift of 72 degree rotation so you are moving this b to the position of c then you are shifting so that means you had A here and when you are again rotating it you would have A here right next when you are again rotating it by 72 degree you have you would have A here at this position and all the others would be moved similarly next when you are doing again a rotation of 72 degree you would have A here and finally when you perform a rotation of 72 degree you would have A at its original position so that means this A would be present at its original position when you rotated how many times 1 2 3 4 5 by 72 degrees in anti-clockwise direction so therefore the order of this rotation is 5 correct now let's talk about another rotation now uh, uh, we can directly rotate it instead of rotating it by 72 degree we can rotate it by 72 plus 72 degree which is 144 degree so 140 uh, if we are rotating by 144 degree so that means we are shifting this a to the position of c right similarly this b would be shifted to the position of d c would be shifted to the position of e d would be shifted to the position of a and this e would be shifted to the position of b so this is what would be happening in this particular case right we are calling this uh, rotation by r square because this rotation is obtained uh, if you rotate all the the this pentagon anti-clockwise by 144 degree this is one way the second way to do the same is rotate by 72 degree and then rotate by 72 degree so this was represented by uh, r so and this was also represented by r so that means their composition is what r square and this is the same as this rotation so we have r square here as this rotation correct okay the order here also is again 5 because when you rotate uh, 144 5 times you would again reach at the same position okay next is r cube so we have learned about rotation by 72 degree we have learned about rotation by 144 degree we can also rotate by 216 degree right that means we have we are now rotating uh, we are now moving this element a to the position of d directly right so that means we are jumping by uh, two edges and we are coming to the third edge over here correct similarly this b element would go to e 
and so on the c element would go to the position of a and so on correct so here we are having the angle as 72 plus 72 plus 72 that is 216 degrees and we are we can represent it by r cube the fourth rotation is by 288 degree which is 72 degree into 4 so what we are doing we are directly moving the element a to the position of we are directly moving the element a to the position of e right this is what we are doing so uh, this is one such rotation and we are calling it by r raised to power 4 and if you perform a rotation by 360 degree right so basically what you are doing you are doing nothing because this a would come again back to its position we are rotating it completely through one circle right so that means this r5 would nothing be your identity element so either you rotate by 0 degree or you rotate by 360 degree that would act as the identity mapping right so these are the five rotations the order of identity mapping is one however the order of all others are r square r cube and r4 are five now what about reflections the reflections of this is given along five lines which are ta tb tc td and te right according to the vertices capital a capital b capital c capital d capital e let's first see about ta when we are talking about ta we are taking a line which passes through this vertex a and goes to the half of the uh, opposite side right this is the line now about this line what we are doing we are making a reflection so that means whatever is here would be shown directly here so this line would act as a mirror image of or to all the points so all the elements at of this point are, of this line are kept fixed others are being reflected correct so this is one reflection ta so here what is the order of reflection the order of reflection is 2 because the order of this this reflection is 2 because once you uh, uh, once you take a reflection this point would go to this point over here again when you perform the reflection so this point here would again go back to the point which uh, uh, at the position where it was initially present so therefore um, on uh, taking the reflection twice you are again getting back at the same position so therefore the its order here is 2 correct so this is reflection along a line ta which passes through the center and the vertex a and it crosses the midpoint of the opposite line similarly we have reflection along tb now about tb what would be the reflection in this case the line would be different line so tb would be the line which passes through this vertex b right and it passes through the center and it meets the opposite uh, side at the middle at the uh, midpoint right so therefore uh, when you take the reflection along this line whatever is here would be reflected here in a similar manner if you treat this as the mirror right so that means all the points along this line would be kept fixed and all uh, all the other points would be reflected here the order, again the order would be the 2 uh, as in the previous case similarly uh, after tb you can have tc reflection along tc you can also have reflection along td and you can also have reflection along te right so i hope you understood all the components of this particular group d5 well that is it for this video thank you for watching